Hello everybody, welcome back to Lily Lulu. My name is Karen. If you haven't been here before, a very warm welcome to you. And if you're a returning visitor, thank you for coming back. It's lovely to have you here. So I'm going to have a play today. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I woke up in the night with an idea. Now, I'm not saying that this is my idea. I might have seen it before and it might be there lurking in my subconscious. I don't think there's anything new in junk journaling. I think everything we all do has been done before somewhere by somebody. So please don't think I'm claiming this as my own, but I thought of something I wanted to try. So I've got here just an envelope that's come through the post. I'm going to straighten up this side. And as you know, I find it very difficult to cut straight with scissors. I usually use my chopper. I can't use it on this table. And I don't want to keep stopping and starting if I don't have to. Um, I've got sort of size. I'm just pulling this journaling to get um, an idea of page size. So I want to chop that about there. Oh, I'm going to have to straighten this up afterwards, but it's just giving me a rough guide to work with. And then uh, which way I want to open it here. So what I want to do is have this as like a trifold opening piece. So instead of using the envelope, you know, like that, like you would normally do, I want to try and do something like this. So fold that piece right over. near enough. I'm not sticking my head in the camera there. So what I wanted was to have it like that. Obviously, we're going to decorate it up and it will open there and it will open there and we'll have something on here. And I thought if I stuck a piece of really thin flat ribbon behind it that could come around and keep it closed so that was my idea and it's worked and I wonder if I can rip this off without damaging no, I'm going to leave it there because I'm going to cover all this anyway so let's have a play and decorate this up and then we will see what we're going to do with it. <clears throat> so do I want to just use a mish mash and collage or do I want to cover it with full pieces? I'm just rummaging in my leftovers pile here to see what I've got. before I started really shouldn't I <laughs> see if I've got any um, misprinted bits here and I'll use those but yes I've printed off the edge you can use that some music paper you can use that also got scrap there Lots of 
scrappy pieces from that um, Shabby Dabby Doo Dah kit that I used. What was I doing when I used that? I can't even remember now. I actually used some of this then. Let's um, go for it. So, I could just stick one piece completely on there. And that would make that easier and it will obviously this will reinforce the envelope because it's just a normal um business envelope so it's not particularly strong it's you know just a letter one it's not one of the brown ones that's a bit you know they're a bit sturdier aren't they this is just the standard letter one so get some glue on there which is not cooperating for some reason so I hope you're all well and happy. We've all had a good weekend. It's Tuesday here, um, but my hubby was off yesterday, so it feels like a Monday to me. And I'm going out shortly, um, taking my mum. Well, I'm going with my mum to the pictures. I'm not taking her, I'm meeting her there. I'm going to see a film, I'm going to see Ticket to Paradise, which is the new George Clooney and Julia Roberts. I always want to say Julia Clooney and George Roberts. <laughs> um, yeah, it's their new film. And I saw a trailer for it months ago. I might even have mentioned it on here, actually. And I thought it was coming out soon. I got all excited. And then, and then it said, you know, the release date was the middle of September or something and I was like no I can't wait that long but you know time flies when you're having fun here we are in September and um so I'm hoping that I've not hyped it up in my head you know too much and it's going to be a good film everybody who has seen it has said it's good so but um I said before, sorry I'm rocking the table, but I've got a real mess on my mat here. I should have cleaned it before I came on. Um, usually, if everybody raves about a film, I don't like it. <laughs> and if it's something that's been really panned by the critics, I usually love it. So we'll see. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing later. Um... Hold that over there. I'll have done most of the back as well. That should be good. And then I think what I'll do is come put it through my choppy chopper afterwards just to. Um... Oh, I folded that in the wrong place. Just to straighten all the edges up and tidy it up. Is that the right place? Yeah, that's better. Folded that in completely the wrong place there. And then, so I've not got much crafting time today because I'm going out. Um, and I still need to be working on my daughter's journal, um, which I haven't got very far with at the moment. So tomorrow I'm hoping that I will have a day to myself and I'll be able to get on with that. Um, and what else have I got to do? don't know, I've got a big list somewhere, <laughs> things I need to do. Yeah, I've been coming upstairs over the weekend um, whenever my daughter's been out and just, you know, pulled some papers together and um, that's the fold I don't want, isn't it? My fold I do want is here somewhere. Um, yeah, I've pulled the papers together that I want to use and sort of sorted them into signatures. Um, I still don't have a, a some fabric chosen for the cover, but 
I'm not I'm not stressing about it. <laughs> I've got a week to get that journal finished. So we shall see what happens. Um, I should really wait for this to dry before I try and fold it, but I wanted to see where the fold line was. Right now, that's going to fold over there like that. And I'm just wondering whether to put something on the back of here but make it like a pocket. Um, the reason I can't tell if that's folded straight or not is because none of my edges are straight, are they? So, yeah, if I made that a pocket and we could slide something in there that you could see through the window, that might be quite nice. Um, but is this paper... I've got any of that printed on slightly sturdier paper yes but that's not wide enough so that may give me my answer anything else on sturdier paper that might go it's, it's amazing isn't it you have all this stuff printed out left over from other projects but you never have quite what you want <laughs> not really sturdy enough. Did I get down to the bottom? I don't know what that might be. Just saw one here that looked like it might be on heavier paper. That's not big enough. Yeah, so I think this, this is going to be my week. This week is going to be working on my daughter's journal. No, it's not on thicker paper. I don't know why I thought that was on thicker paper. Um, is that going to be too yellowy? Because that's printed on cream paper, so it's a bit... It doesn't really go with the other stuff. Right, so we're not going to have... We're not going to make that a pocket because it will be too flimsy. So we're just gonna cover this with something. So I keep using that Eiffel Tower on lots of things. Um, yeah, this week is going to be working on my daughter's journal and finishing off um, my tags for the swap because they need to go in the post. Um, oh, I might pop that there. Um, so I am going to, I am filming all these things, but they won't be going up until October um, because I don't want the recipients to see what I'm doing until after they've had their tags and journal <laughs> so um that's going to be my week i'm hoping i'm going to have lots of crafting time this week and get everything finished um i'll pop that there that's quite nice I think what I'll do with this when I've decorated it all, um, I might stitch around, surprise, surprise, <laughs> stitch around all the edges. Um, because I like the way that looks. Right, I'm trying to make sure I, I get that writing sort of horizontal, sort of straight. there and then we'll cover the back with something I've already said that's not big enough Karen yes I'm looking forward to lots of crafty time I'm glad I'm using up these papers because I obviously printed out hundreds of them 
um, so it's nice to be getting them used. Now, shall I go, I think I will go slightly over that fold line. Um, just to give it a little bit of extra reinforcement. It's going to fold the little birdie though. Never mind. No, I don't like that. I'm going to butt it up. No, I don't want to do that either. What do I want to do? Um... I don't know. I'm just going to have to fold it over a little bit overlap it a little bit and think about what I'm going to do about that afterwards. Mind you, if I put, ah yes, I was going to put something here, wasn't I? Some papers or something, so um, that won't be so noticeable anyway. So that's good, so I need to that over a little bit to set the edge again slightly reinforced and strengthened and obviously you can see how wonky that edge is I'm just going to roughly cut that off and I'm going to straighten it up as I say on the trimmer afterwards so there's our fold line there so that's going to be like that something on the back I'm putting no do I no I am going to stick this in somewhere aren't I I decided so that I could tie it up so I don't need to cover the back so I just need to do something on the front here um around the where was those other Sorry, I'm, I go quiet when I'm thinking, don't I? <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep forgetting that, the, that I'm recording this. So I'm going to cut that there. I'm wondering if I should tear this actually because it'll probably be straighter than cutting, although I have cut everywhere else. Here's my ruler. tidy up over the weekend when I couldn't be up here for long. Uh, as I say, I've pulled the papers together and things for my daughter's journal and um, I was tidying up in between because she kept coming home unexpectedly. <laughs> so I kept sort of shoving it to one side and then doing a bit of tidying up um, until she disappeared again. <laughs> Uh, what's the right? No, that's the right way. Sticking it on upside down. So let's pop that piece there. And a little bit of collage on the front. 
so we can still see through the window. And again, I'm going over the fold. Um, oh no, I was going to go, I was going to have the rose at the bottom, wasn't I? Honestly, trying to talk and do at the same time is beyond me sometimes. There. And then what else are we going to have? Oh, I wonder if that would go. ever so hot up here today I have to keep the window shut otherwise it's too noisy but it's absolutely boiling now is that going to look too ridiculous let's have a look and see I think it might need something actually different there. Could have that piece there continuing on. Yep. I don't know why I'm being so um picky about this because I'm really only making this to see how it comes out. I'm not planning to use it in anything. Um, so it doesn't really matter what all this looks like, does it? <laughs> oh, I've got very gluey fingers. Yeah, it looks like a nice day out there today. The sun's shining and obviously because I'm at the front of the house, the sun's shining onto this window I'm sitting in front of. So, and I've got a jumper on because it was cold when I got dressed this morning. So I'm getting a little bit warm now. Right. So then what did I say that looked silly there? Might be right if I overlap it. A little bit, it's not. Or will that tuck under? Is that stuck fast yet? I might be able to tuck that under. That might look better. Yes. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Sorry if I'm rocking the table. So let me know if you've seen this done before with the with the window envelopes, you know, made into a tri-fold thingy. Um, I'd love to know if I've seen it somewhere and forgotten, you know, and it's buried in my subconscious and it just came back to me in the middle of the night. Um, because obviously I, I'd like to give credit. I always try and give credit to people if, if I've seen somebody do something um, even though we all have our own take on these things you know even if you do exactly the same thing you always make it your own in some way don't you so but I do like to um, give credit to where I got the idea from so let me know right I'm just going to pause for a moment um, so that I can straighten up all these edges um, and then I may um, no I won't do that oh, let's get it finished um, yeah I'm just going to straighten up these edges so I'll be back in a second right I'm back again 
So I've straightened up the edges a bit, so that looks a bit better. Now I'm just going to ink, um, just to, you know, disguise those choppy bits, any white that's still showing. Um, I don't need to do the back because that's going to be stuck down. Am I going off camera? I'm sorry if I am. Right, I can see that paper lifting a little bit there, so that needs a little bit more glue. Um, that's that. Now. Sorry if you can hear Max in the background. I don't know what he's barking at. I am expecting a parcel today, but not this early. I've just better go and check. There's no one at the front door. I'll be back in a sec. Nothing there. Don't know what he's on about. Right, now, I want to put some pages um, inside there. Have I got anything? Oh look, that's ripped in just about the right place. <laughs> it's meant to be. It seem to have torn very straight. I thought I had it lined up. Never mind. Right. So that one's a lot narrower. I don't know what I did there. Right. Those in there, they're all still too long, but I'm not going to stick them in yet because I want to sew around the edge of the whole thing first. Um, I may even sew those pages in as I go around the edge. Might, might be a bit too ambitious for me. But anyway, they're going to go in the middle there, and then that's going to close there, and that's going to close there. So I want something to 
use to tie it closed. I think no, it's too dark. What have I got in here? I want something sheer, really. I can't see anything in there. Where's my... Oops. Sorry, that was my cup of tea. What have I got in here? That's too thick. About this. Sorry, I keep going off camera. I don't know why today. I keep going too low down. So if that ties around there, like that, we'll slip that there. So that will just need to be glued on the back. looks quite pretty doesn't it I'm quite pleased with how that turned out so just to finish it off I will stitch around but obviously you don't need to do that so I've got my little tie closure there and then that will open there so we've got journaling space that will open there we've got journaling space we've got all these pages to journal on because they're going to be stuck in and then the whole thing is going to be stuck onto a journal page. Oops. Like. I've got a pretty plain one. Like that. Well quite happy with how that looks i hope you found that interesting let me know if you're going to have a go at making one and as i say let me know if you've seen somebody else do that before um because i'd like to know where i got the idea from <laughs> thank you for joining me today sorry about the dog barking in the background again but that's what you get when you come here <laughs> i hope you all have a lovely rest of the week i'll probably be back in a couple of days but i'm not too sure um and I don't know what I'll be working on, but I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me. Take care and enjoy your crafting time. Bye-bye.